let me show you the demo so here is the demo and uh, in this game you are e oh no they got me already son of a gun not this time z oh he got me again right. try the down approach down down up that was good that was good no okay so if you don't know what software i'm using for making games there is a link down below where you can download the free version there is also a link to the paid version which allows you to create commercial games okay so let's go over the assets here's the z which is just a letter it is a uh, his head animation you can see that i'm using these objects for the ground here's my main character which is just a letter is the equal sign which is really a picture health bar that's an energy and i'm using the physics engine now this whole thing it's about uh, 11 events doesn't feel like it but it is this is the background it's just a picture okay so if you run this frame you notice that nothing happens except for the e falls down let's go to the uh, event editor and uh, let's create our fresh collisions see if i can complete this in two minutes the e collides with uh, the ground which is this a and e stops try it out that works fine this is already a platform object so notice that we have a counter here so this is only going to work if this counter is at to zero and our jumping animation is not playing negated that works fine if the user presses down we're gonna set that counter to one press down and we fall object i'm using this this one is b if we collide with b then he stops and we're gonna set the counter back to zero Press down. Down. And that works fine. If the user presses control, then we can create an object, an equal sign in front of the E. We can play a sound at the same time. Let's do the scrolling, always center window position relative to the e of the scrolling and the z moves because it is a path object okay this is the path it follows so if the equal sign collides with the z then we change the animation sequence of the z to hit but we're going to make sure that the animation is not playing already hit is not playing negate it and we're going to destroy the equal sign. So when the animation hit is finished, we're going to change this animation sequence back to stop. Try it out. Let's make the Z shoot back at us. We're going to do it based on distance compared to two general values. Z position, distance with a point. For the X, we're going to use the X position of the E. And for the Y, we're going to use the Y position of E. The distance needs to be lower than 400 pixels. We're going to use the timer. Every use calculation, random range, 100 milliseconds to 1200. We're going to fire an O from this position relative to the Z. We need to make the O look in direction of the player or the E. Whoa, he got me twice already. The O collides with the E, then we destroy E and maybe the O as well. So if the number of uh, E's is equal to zero, then we can restart the frame. Whenever we hit the uh, Z, we want to decrease his counter subtract one from counter no okay i have to approach this a little different okay i'm gonna come down from the bottom
No. Or if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you didn't like the video, smack the dislike button. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter account is SparkmanX. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.